students welcome to maths class today we are going to start with the chapter algebraic expressions objectives of the chapter are basics of algebra various operations on algebraic expressions like addition subtraction multiplication division so what is algebra it is a branch of mathematics in which symbols usually letters are used to represent the quantities here suppose if we want to purchase one orange and cost of one orange is rupees 5 so what we will pay rupees 5 for two oranges rupees 10 For three oranges, five three is a fifteen. We will pay rupees fifteen, and for four oranges, we will pay five four is a twenty rupees twenty. So here, value for per orange will remain fixed, and here quantity is changing as per demand. So fixed value is known as constant. and changing value is known as variable so combination of constants and variable with a suitable operation is known as algebra so here what is constant a symbol having fixed numerical value is called a constant or you can say all counting numbers are called constants For example, two, three, minus four, one upon two, zero, seven. These all are examples for the constants. And what are variables? A symbol whose value is not fixed, or all letters of English alphabets are called variable, like A till Z, all letters. so for example x p a y q etc here remember we will take always small letters so variable also known as the literals here you must remember these words to identify these operations we know there are four mathematical operations here for plus you have to remember added to increased by more than plus total sum for minus you have to remember subtract minus diminished reduced exceed less than and difference and multiply product by of times these words indicates sign of multiply and divide quotient upon over such words indicates for the symbol of division so let's understand with examples here We are going to start with write the following mathematical form using sign and symbols. Here, first example is x increased by ten. So just now I have told you increased means plus. So how we will write it in mathematical form? Here x x is a variable. It remains same. increased means symbol of plus by 10 so here it comes x plus 10 now next example is the sum of 4 and x sum means plus so here we are having 4 and x so which symbol will come in between plus here it comes plus symbol 
Now, next example is x decreased by 4. What is the meaning of decreased? Right. Symbol of minus. So, here x decreased implies minus. Here it comes 4. So, what will come? x minus 4. Now, next x subtracted from 7. Now, here must remember students, subtracted from word indicates second number minus first number. So, here second number is 7. First number is x. So, what will come? 7 minus x. Now, let's see next example. Here, 4 times y. Times indicates sign of multiply. Now, here it comes 4 multiply y. So, you can also write it as a single term. 4 y. Because here no sign indicates sign of multiply. Next, z divided by 5. Here z divide sign 5. You can also write it as z upon 5. Now next example. C taken away from the sum of B and D. Now again taken away from means second number minus first number. Here second number is sum of B and D. That means here it comes B plus D. And the first number is C. So when you will do second number minus first number, you will put B plus D in bracket. Then minus and first number is C. So here it comes B plus D minus C. So next topic is Exponential form. What is exponential form? As we know, here 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 is there. Here we are doing repetition of a number with the symbol of multiply. So repeated multiplication, we can write it as 2 raised to power 3. Here, as you can see, 2 is coming 3 times. So, we will write 2 as a base and 3 as a power. So, this is the exponential form for the numbers. Now, how to express variables and numbers in exponential form? For example, here r by r by r so on to 7 times. That means repeated multiplication of r 7 times. So in exponential form, r will come as a base and its power will be 7. So here it comes r raised to power 7. Now let's see one more example. Here we are having 3 multiply m multiply m multiply by m n multiplied by n. Always remember that to write in exponential form that number or variable should repeat. So here we will write 3. Now which variable is repeating 3 times? m. So here I will write m raised to power 3. Now Next variable is n. So here n is coming 2 times. So I will write it as n square. So in exponential form it comes 3 n cube n square. Now let's see one more example. Here 2 multiply 5 a multiply a multiply b multiply b multiply c. Now, 
टू फाइव जर टेन वी कैन नॉट एक्सप्रेस इट एज एक्सपोनशियल फॉर्म बिकॉज बेसिस आर नॉट सेम नाउ नेक्स्ट ए इज रिपीटिंग टू टाइम्स सो हेयर इट कम्स ए स्क्वेर नाउ अगेन बी इज कमिंग टू टाइम्स सो हेयर आई विल राइट बी स्क्वेर Now, C is coming only one time, so there is no need to write C raised to power one. C indicates single variable over there. Now, next, P multiply P multiply P, multiply Q multiply Q. So here, P is coming three times, and Q is coming. Two times, so we will write it as p cube q square. So this is the way to express in exponential form. Now let's see the next topic, product form. Product form is reciprocal of exponential form. Here it is given in exponential form. You will write it in product form. So how to write? Two multiply. Here it is given two a cube. A is coming three times. So here I will write two multiply by a multiply by a multiply by a. So next example is six a square b cube. Now you will tell me how to write it. Here six a square means. A two times, B cube means B three times. So this is the product form of six A square B cube. Now next, eight X Y square Z cube. Here it comes. Eight multiply by X. Now. Y square means multiply by y two times. Z cube means multiply by z three times. So, students, today we have learnt about the basics of algebra, how to express in mathematical form, how to express in exponential form, and how to express in product form so i hope with the help of this video you all will be able to solve the related sums given in your snap homework thank you have a nice day